Hey, welcome to the Building Code Forum. You are looking at another water heater that was put in without a permit and it was not put in correctly. There are two main violations here and hopefully someone will comment below and actually put what they are with the International Plumbing Code. So I am standing in the garage and as you can see, there is a drop down from that slab that goes up to where the water heater is located. Now, the reason why this was changed is because on the other side of that wall is a finished room that is carpeted and the carpeting was getting extremely wet because this unit right here was leaking, okay? So, there was no pan, there was no pan for the water heater to sit in at all. So all the water just accumulated and seeped in over there inside and saturated the carpet and the molding, the base molding, okay? So this was put in without a permit. As you can see, it looks it appears to be CPVC. Um, they did put the expansion control device, in this case, it's an expansion tank. They did put this back in place. But if we follow the TPR discharge tube, not sure why this was done, but it comes down and it terminates, oh, about two and a half feet above, and it terminates outside of our pan. Now the pan is rotated in that direction so the water that does build up if this thing were to leak again is going to come out, wrap around just like it did last time, and it's gonna saturate into the wall again. Now the way to fix this is to actually have this pan rotated over in this direction right here with a pipe that'll discharge it down to the floor of the garage. This way it's to a conspicuous location. You can see that there's a leak and it'll go to the garage floor, which is designed to handle water. The other problem here is this TPR discharge tube um, comes down and it terminates outside the pan and it also terminates way too high up. So if you know how far down this has to be at a minimum, um, that's also international, international plumbing code, uh, comment below. And uh, that's about it. So this is the building code form. Just wanted everyone to see this. All right, another water heater installation. Uh, unable to tell if the ground is connected or not. They have this particular brand does not have the little piece sticking here where you can see the uh, ground wire going through. All right, so two main major violations here for the installation of this tank water heater. All right, so like and subscribe to the building code form and start commenting. Maybe there's some other violations that you see here that I don't. Hmm, let us know.